Right then guys, so this is what I've come up with now. It's, I've come up with a, a bait that I'm going to use. A, uh, I'm going to fish Ecclesfield, decided. Ecclesfield Pond. I've seen a couple of photos of some fishing there yeah, yesterday and they're, they're absolute bangers. Not the, the couple, it does look a, a decent size. One of them looks a decent size. I know there's a common in there around about £25 that people were saying were 30 I think it may reach that way at some time in year, but... And I've only known it be come out around about 25. Now there's a mirror in there that is absolutely beautiful. So it's, that's changed my mind on. I'm just. I always knew it holded good fish, good looking fish. I had a 28 8 out of the years ago when I was young. Um, now that fish, I'm, I don't know if anyone else has had that out or what, but it's. It could still be in there for all I know. You know what I mean. But the thing is, is I'm definitely going to get on it. So what I've done is I've rolled. I've been rolling pineapple and banoffee anyway for, for canal. So what, what I've just rolled is I've just it's a silty place so I've added a lot of bloodworm to these as well. That's the other thing. Is a um, mainline essential cell but with bloodworming. Now I've done them with a lot more bloodworming than normal for the simple reason of it's a silty place. It's still, it's going to be rich in bloodworm. For the fish to get, be getting to the size they're getting, it's, a, um, it, it's my, my, my thing would be, it's pretty, there's a lot of bloodworm in there and a lot of naturals, definitely. It's, there's a lot of flies on there in summer sea, so it, it's still laying eggs somewhere and it's it's in that, it's in pond and, and they'll be gorging on, on lava and that and bloodworm and all that. So that's where we're at with them. They're getting, they're getting pretty, now I've rolled them in, in two sizes in 20 millimeter and 16s and the, i think there's a few 14s in there as well i started with 14s but so there's, so there's three sizes but there's not many at 14s now i've rolled them at that size for a simple reason of 20 millimeter ones will there's a lot of stockies in there little stockies are around about six five to six pound so i'm hoping that them 20s might be just a bit too too much for me. And I, I've caught a lot of them. I once had about 13 or 14 out in just a few hours while I was fishing down here on floor. Now I'm only going to be fishing one, two rods maximum down there. It's rush lined, so I can always put a, um, a rod down each side at rushes, tight into at rushes, and then bike led them. So there's no sign there. No signs of lines or whatever, you know what I mean? You're going to be fishing tight lines to the bottom. They're going to be heavy, heavy bike led. So when you bike led, it's going to bang straight in. And it's more than likely going to take your line into the silt a bit. Now, I will be fishing with the wafters that, that I've done as well. I've done some um, wafters already. Uh, uh, bloody pineapple wafters. Now, I will be fishing with them. But I will be honest with you. I think one of the rods is, is going to be on a buzzer. It's I'm going to I'm going to be fishing no more than likely on a sunken float with a, um, a bait I've done really well on there in, in past. So it, it's one rod's going to be on boiler. Now these will more than likely be, be half of these will be more than likely crumbed, crumbed up, and then put in. Now I've I've, I've, I've Kept them as natural, natural as attraction wise as um, bloodworm. Is that it's? I'm not gone gone that with that much bloodworm in in a, in a fruity bit before. Now the lad that, that uh, used to be lift the pond before the guys that have got it now had it did really really well on fruit baits. So it's um, and I know that for definite because he had some off me and he had a, a few nice fish on them, a lot of coins. But he, he did have a few nice fish on them. So is that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with that crumb to attract all roaching to start with, and then all baits. They're not gonna get them in them in the mouth. And the majority of, of the, the bream and roaching, they are they, uh, the nice size, the roaching bream are nice size, but they ain't gonna get a 20 millimeter bait in the mouth. So that's that's definitely where I'm where I'm going with that. So one log's definitely gonna be on boiler. Because if I can get them going on boiler, then I can have it off big size on there. You know what I mean? I've got a lot of bait, and I can pretty much get majority of, of whatever amount of bait I need for it. If I need to put five or six kilo in, if there's a lot of stockies, I will put five or six kilo in. But it's definitely getting done by me. So hopefully, it's not, I'm not going to go down yet. I'm still not going to go down yet. It's 
I want to go down when it's perfect down there and I know for definite majority of the day will be fished apart from early morning and later on in the day through the day will more than likely be fished on zigs unless we have a perfectly good good weather front coming and it looks bang on for it so but it's it's going to be interesting we're not being able to do nights now we'll still be doing odd night but i'm joining a section of canal for, uh, to do odd 48 hours but to be perfectly honest with you i'm 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 it, as far as i'm concerned it's game on now it is ecclesfield pond they, they, they're lovely fish and the, and they're big as well they're in big frame fish so it's down there let's see how we go on now for all I know, that fish might not be in there, but what I do know is there is fish in there that are good and they are a decent size. A lot of fish don't come out of Recklesfield, the big ones don't come out of Recklesfield. The one that I had at 28.8 had about six hooks in its mouth, 22, size 22s and small match, match hooks and small sections at line. So over years, they'd, been, they'd obviously been on people's uh, bait maggot-wise and that. And and they'd, they'd lifted it up, person struck into it and it just tsh, smashed them. But I got all hooks out of its mouth and put it back in. And as far as I know, not, that fish haven't been out since. Because everyone I speak to, they, they don't know about any any fish in there at 28.8. Now back then as well, I, I was a kid. I didn't, I, I didn't, I, I was about, about 17, 18 year old. So I didn't, I didn't take a camera with me back then. I didn't have a camera, you know what I mean? We didn't have all that kind of stuff when we, we did have cameras family i did have cameras but they won't let me take it fishing with me it's, it's just, you know what i mean they're not going to do that it's like it were a you know it were like a, something you didn't take cameras went on holiday with you they didn't go fishing in case i got it got, lost it or got it broke so but the bailiff actually come round an old guy come round and he took a photo of me with that fish and it was just going dog but I'll never forget the sheer size of it. It was huge, huge, and all. And we weighed it. He brought it some scale. He actually come and he told me to put it, leave it in the net. I was in water. I had to get in the water to get it out. Because it, every time I tried bringing it close in, it shallowed up. And it wouldn't, it was just a bit too deep for that shallow to get it in. So I jumped in and netted it. And then brought it back to edge. And when Bailiff come round, he said to me, put the net further out in water and open net till I get back and he went and got the scales and he come back and it said 28 at 28 pound eight ounce bang on he weighed it about three times he couldn't believe it he didn't think they were out in there with that size and I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that day it's one, probably one of the uh, the things that got me into carp fishing really big carp fishing I mean I was fishing for big carp anyway you know what I mean I was using cockles and and uh, stuff like that, you know what I mean? And float, and I will fish. I know how to fish it, and I know how to fish Ecclesfield. I know how to fish. I fish out of Ecclesfield, and a um, lobworm as well. That were really, really good. But I can't remember if I had a lobworm or cockle, but I can remember floats sliding away, and and it, it was a right fight as well. It was only like like gear I had it on as well. It was only really light air uh, tackle that I had it on. I think it was something like eight pound maxima or something like that. In fact, I got it out, put it, that went back in, so I'm hoping, it, it, I don't know, I just, I'm hoping that he's still in there, and if I could have it again, it'd be great to see, it, you know what I mean, it really would. Now, the fish that somebody put a photo on on a mirror yesterday, now, that fish is imprinted in my head as a mirror, but I can't remember its exact scale pattern. I can't, all I can remember is that it was dark on top. And a, a yellowish under underside. I can't remember the scale pattern. So it's a, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. There's they're, they're good lads down there as well. You know what I mean. We're local. We're all local. Sheffield five. So I'm really looking forward to getting on there. It's in the hands of someone now that loves it. And uh, to me, that's everything about a place. It, it's it, when I saw that fish yesterday. Ecclesfield's been on my mind now for a few years. I even did a session down there with Richard when it were they didn't know what was happening. Were it were it going to get sell? Was that guy going to get it? Who's got house on there? They weren't sure what they were going to do with it. Now luckily, someone's got it who loves the place and are doing their utmost to make it into a re really really nice. It always is a nice venue. The fish in there are stunning. There's some little uh, mirrors and commons in there that have, have got the lovely shape, the round, the lovely shape, the, the shape that, that, that could get to a nice size in, in years to come. Now, 
it were in my mind at Ecclesfield for the past two years it's been in my mind and then Tim Paisley did that uh, podcast on Nash and he mentioned it then it comes straight to the front of my mind again and I messaged him and I says to him uh, uh, he says that we were fishing Ecclesfield for carp and he didn't even know if there were any in there so I messaged him and said to him there was definitely carp in there um, Tim in 80s there was definitely definitely carp in there I can't tell you what size they were I says, but I can tell you in, in when I was about, when I was about 18, 17, 18 year old, that I had a 28, 8 out of there. So there's definitely fish in there of that size. I sent him photos of some fish that have been out of it lately. And he says, I'm, and he, he just messaged me back and says, he must have been fishing it wrong. <laughs> now Tim Paisley, no, I don't, I don't think that for one minute. He was fishing it right. It's just, it is a very, very tricky venue. It is a, um, Ecclesfield Pond, it's a tricky, tricky venue, honestly, it's, I think they've finally got them onto boilers, you know what I mean, they've finally got them onto tweeting boilers and seeing boilers as a food source, but when I fished it on boilers about six, seven years ago, honestly, they didn't even know what it were, they were just, I was fishing margin spots with Polaroid glasses on, I could see them because I were up higher than the water looking down and they were just drifting straight over the bait and dropping down on, onto the, 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 the bait that I, where I had a flow rod and it were meat, they were dropping out of luncheon meat, maggots and that kind of bait, it's a match, match oriented venue and the reason that the fish have got that size is it's always been popular as a match venue and it always will be. But it's got anglers on it most days, trickling bait in like maggots and, and luncheon meat and stuff like that. Now the carp, they love, love stuff like that. But I do think them bigger fish, they've, I already know that the, 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 the roots they take. It's, I've been on the earth that many times, I know the roots they take. They, and it's normally just, just like one, one, one way they'll go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And then they'll come, they'll do the margins. So it's um I'm I'm really fired up and I'm looking forward to it to be honest with you. It's a lovely little venue. So it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Now it's um it's gonna be nice to get back on float gear as well and centre pin I think. Get them on centre pin and, and um and have one rod as a sleeper on a buzzer fishing over boiler. So we'll see which one does best, you know what I mean? But we'll see. I've, I've got a funny feeling that that me and um, me and pellet is gonna gonna do boiler, and if if it does, then the but the the boilers will be dropped, put in put in freezer, or I'll get rid of them. I'll sell them for this season. I'll get rid of my boilers for this year. If if it's better on me and and stuff like salami and and pepperoni and stuff stuff like that kind of stuff, what I used to use. If it's still like that then I will I'll get rid of the boilers I've got rolled, the fresh boilers I've got rolled, I'll get rid of them. But it's I'm hoping I can get them onto the boilers. There's plenty of stuff in them boilers now that, that them fish should like, you know what I mean? It's silty, full of bloodworm. It's got to be full of bloodworm. It's silly as hell. So the amount of bloodworm in there, they're giving off attraction at a, a bloodworm big time. And they will get glugged in the bloodworm again before I go down there. And I will also be putting small block of salts just just odd little bit of salt round just to get them nice and in shape for when it comes to spawning so they're in prime condition but it's and i will drop off when they spawn by the way i won't be fishing from when i don't fish for, for spawning fish it's it's not something i do a fish at a spawning weight in it is true weight it's it's like it's like in lifting a pregnant woman up and and saying that that's what she weighs it's it's, it's wrong so it is, that's where we're going, but I've just rolled them and halfway through I just decided I'm just bang a bit more uh, more, more glug on them and, they're, um, and then just leave them be with bag open 24 hours and then next week hopefully get down for the first time but I am looking forward to fishing the place now especially after seeing a few photos of some of the fish lads have had out of here so I know a lot of lads on there so it's going to be good fun. So I'm looking forward to it, definitely. Check you later.